initializing. Hurry up then. Error. Oh no. Rerouting. Let's run a reroute again. You only had to do it once. Come on. Oh, there's another running diagnostics. Satellite uplink. Satnet offline. Rerouting again. Oh, come on. Ground station relay found. My ears. Synchronizing data. All this to begin a reveal trailer. Oh my god, this is way it all connected. This is way longer than it needed to be. Initiating countdown. Ah. Uh, why is there an hour clock just come up? They they can't seriously have a three minute intro or however long that shit lasted for an hour clock. <laughs> oh my god. Do you know this this countdown is exactly how it's gonna feel when all the live service stuff gets rolled out. We're gonna be sitting there just waiting and waiting and waiting. Six months later. Oh look, Conquest is back in Battlefield. Another six months. Oh we've got this new mode coming in. Another year. Oh look, there's a couple of new weapons that we've released. The worst thing is, for me being a content creator, I can't actually come off this countdown in case something happens. I have to sit here for the next hour, literally just playing with my balls. They're going to do all of this. The whole, let's schedule a live stream. Then we're going to do all this three minute intro bollocks. Then we're going to have an hour countdown and it's going to be a 90 second trailer. And people are going to be screaming from the rooftops. Oh, this is going to be amazing. Yay, Battlefield. The game will come out and it'll be a bigger flop than BF5. I'm not even joking. This is a genuine hour countdown. See, they can't even change this now. Because uh, literally, from this point, if they go, oh, we're only joking about the countdown, here's your trailer now, then the amount of people that would have clicked off this stream already, they're going to miss it. They actually cannot change this. Uh, there is going to be nothing for the next 57 minutes. Right, a year ago, it was posted on Reddit, BF6 will likely have a live service model. Like, It's not necessarily the official name. But BF6 will have a live service model or likely have one as well. Latest job offer from DICE gave it away. There's another interference with this stupid countdown. So it'll likely have a live service model. It says, I'm sure this comes not really as a surprise, but some people had the hopes that the franchise will return to the good old premium model with promised content actually releasing. Anyway, here you can see the latest job offer from DICE searching a senior development director for the Battlefield franchise. The sentence which caught my attention the most, extra credit if you have experience in live services. So I think it's safe to assume we will get a live service model for BF6 as well. There was something I read that said it's going to be more focused on live service than BF5. They shouldn't be surprising the entire industry has switched to this model. It was not about it being surprising or not. Everyone's going to get hyped for this. And they're not going to care on the live service. And the complaints are going to start when it gets released. The complaints should have started before so that something could have changed. And it, it just leaves the question, how long is EA going to stick to this live service model? It's just going to ruin so many like games. It was like, what? When was the release date for BF5? Google BF5 release date. 9th of November 2018. Players had to wait an entire month after that for like part of the story or something to release this person has actually got a very good point it's pretty obvious that as long as there is a live service they're always going to test the customers with how little content they can offer before we complain basically they're going to invest less than before and they will add more microtransactions and call it content i mean i get this person as well someone else goes well from solely a business perspective it worked the game flopped and they were able to pull the plug if they were on the line for future DLC for a failed game, they really would have been screwed. As for us, the consumer, you have to hope they put out a decent game. If the game sucks, you're not going to see much as far as content. 
Some of us knew, like monitoring the play counts, this game was near dead and made no sense of future content. So if the next game succeeds, you'll likely see the content with the live service. If not, you won't. I'd wait a few months after launch to see how the next settles before buying it. Uh, we may decide not to. Yeah, so BF5 was a flop. They literally just pulled the plug because they couldn't be bothered. They started working on 6. So if 6 comes out with a small amount of content, then everyone's going to start kicking off. And then it's just going to be another case of BF5. They'll just pull the plug because there's no point. People aren't happy. When it's not our fault that we're not happy, it's because they've not released enough content in the start of the game. It's like, I think Black Ops Cold War came out with like eight multiplayer maps at launch. But all the hype and stuff and all these reveal trailers, these hour countdowns and getting people, like giving them false hope, builds up the hype. They make the sales and then they've made their money, they move on to the next product. All they needed to do was go, our stream's at four o'clock, cut out the countdown. If this is based in 2042, it's all going to be futuristic. We're going to have like exoskeletons and shit. It's going to be like advanced warfare. It's going to fucking fail. I'm going to laugh if they just call it Battlefield. Or it's called, imagine it's Battlefield 2. Could you imagine people at work? Oh, boss, I've got to take a quick lunch break at 3 o'clock. I, I need to just watch something quickly. Boss is like, yeah, all right, you've got 15 minutes or something. Comes back in. Oh, boss, has been delayed by an hour. I don't give a shit. I told you 3 o'clock, you've got 15 minutes. Back to fucking work or you're fired. Imagine all the conversations. Oh, so what did you do today? I sat there and watched a one hour long distorted countdown and listened to interference that was deafening. People were sitting there like, oh yeah, look, you could have you could have just simply looked at the title of the stream and found out that it was going to be another countdown. And when they said another, they had a 48 hour countdown leading up to this. Ow! Honestly! Did not a single person at uh, any of the companies involved with this game think to themselves that's going to be really annoying for people to listen to. The distortion and interference have got worse as the time's gone on. More deafening! Wait, what? The stream's just ended. Do I have to click on that? The reveal trailer premiere? Okay, the time has carried on on that. So people have actually just sat there and waited an hour to have to click on a different video. Yeah, there's only 122,000 people watching now because people have to click on this. Oh my god. Why so much confusion? Just do a simple fucking reveal. Half the people or over half the people that were watching that haven't realised what they've got to do. There's only 241k people watching with 35 seconds to go. I can't believe they've done that. A 48 hour countdown into an hour countdown into a premiere switch. Right, here we go. Apparently we've got 14 seconds. But they've lost like over 200,000 people. Idiots. Absolute idiots. Five seconds. And my poor ears. Fucking hell. Here we go. May contain content inappropriate for children. Game engine footage. Okay, there's a lot of parachutes. Wingsuit. Dice. This might actually be called Battlefield 2042. Because I've seen images shared on Twitter just before this started. They've got robot dogs. Are you serious? Oh, go away. This isn't even going to be in-game graphics, is it? This just... It looks too real. It's game engine, it's not in-game. They've just used the same engine to make this trailer. Oh, people, don't get hyped.
Okay, there's an ambush in a cargo container. Nice. See, another question. Okay, they've got a hovercraft on like a snow map and tanks and stuff. How many of these, like, if these are game maps, how many are going to be available to launch? There's a rocket going off. Yay! Go on, is that it? Trailer over. That just looks... Look, that's a uh, Battlefield 4 map, is it not? That looks very similar to a BF4 map. Okay, that explosion was nice. Chopper's coming. Oh, is that a little bird? It's a little bird. Quad bikes. Yeet! Into fighter jets. Oh, I'm really not sure about this at all. It is 2042, isn't it? No way. If you can do that in game, if you can do that in game, ejected out of a jet to RPG the jet that was following and then got back in their jet. Please have BF4 jet swaps. Pretty please. I saw a ghillie. I'm not liking the robot dogs. I don't care if it's from the future. Okay, random lightning strike. This is what they were talking about in the hour countdown. There's a massive hurricane. Apparently it's a category six storm. Everyone's being sucked into it. What is their fascination with the wingsuits in this? It is Battlefield 2042. Gameplay reveal June 13th, so four days time. There's going to be a gameplay reveal. Is there anything else or is that the whole thing done? Oh no, that's the whole thing done. I'm really unsure. Robot Dogs is 2042. There's Category 6 Storms. I mean, if you can jump out of a jet RPG another one, then jump back in. I'm happy. I miss the Battlefield 4 jet swaps. But I can't see them adding that in as an actual feature. At this stage, I don't know what to think about it. To me, it just looks like an, an updated Battlefield 4. And how much of that stuff's going to be in at launch with the ice map, with all the hovercrafts and the tanks. It, it's a live service model. I think half that stuff's going to be missing at launch. It's going to be six months after release.